When I tell people I took a year off uni, I always say it's because I was unwell. But I never say I was mentally unwell. I know people will react differently, but it shouldn't be that way. Those two statements should be treated the same. I think the first time I told someone I was depressed, I was 11, and they were like, you're 11. Do you even possess the complexity to be depressed? When I was younger, I'd let my thoughts just run away from me, and they usually end up like a very dark Shakespeare tragedy, but with more people of color in it. Very gloomy, very sad. Later, as a teenager, I'd put on this black coat and sneak out of school to walk around town. My friends were quite literal about it. They called it my depression coat. When I arrived at uni, I, uh, I sort of lost it. It was this crazy explosion of trying to figure out my own personality, make friends, adjust, um, and balance all my mental illness yet to be discovered. I felt paralyzed by the stress of school. It was like someone had cranked up the pressure in my body. And I spent a year fumbling for the valve to turn it back down. The night before an exam, I was in my room, pressure had really cranked up. Then something snapped inside me. I remember thinking, okay, I'm gonna die. I had to call my mom to tell her, okay, I'm not doing my exams. And she wasn't getting it at all like someone being confused about why penguins can't fly. They've got two wings, like all the other birds, so why don't we just throw one out of a plane? And then I had to be like, I tried to kill myself. Um, yeah. I got on medication for a while, daily intakes of sertraline every morning with my breakfast. I used to joke to my friends, apparently happiness tastes like orange juice. I didn't like that it sort of made me feel a bit of a lie, like someone had just turned up some sort of button in my psychology or some sort of dial. So I went off it and the relapse was awful. It felt like someone had taken a thousand rubber bands and just tightened them around my skull. And I, and I felt very dizzy and very nauseous until eventually it went away and I was like, great, that's done now, not doing that again. So I didn't decide to do a year out. Um, it was deemed on me, but I realized I could use it as an opportunity and I made time to explore my mind. What worked for me in the end is not something I could have planned for. The thing that was probably the biggest impact for me in sort of changing my psychology and changing sort of my outlook is, is being more open with everybody. What's kind of interesting is when you have like an open conversation with like people or just have a cup of tea with someone and chat, oh yeah, here's what I did in my year out, blah, 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 and here's why I was unwell. You realize that other people have gone through that and it's hilariously normal. I did a big Facebook post saying, hello everybody, it's me. I've been very depressed and suicidal, how are you? and then sort of ran away from my laptop, like I just like released some sort of naked photos on the internet. But you know, not only was like, there's lots of loving feedback coming back, but it was this sort of liberation that I have taken control of the thing that I'm hiding from and it's now mine.